Well, hello, sunshine. We're going to have us a, uh, hopefully, a quick video. I know I get long-winded, but we're going to have us, hopefully, a quick video uh, here today. It's going to span out over a few days, but we'll get you the results right quick on the dyno uh, video-wise. What we've got here is we've got our old test mule, and this right now is sitting with uh, Holtz Forma cylinder on it uh, and a mild muffler mod. And <clears throat> in previous videos, I've tested the New West Big Bore cylinder. Uh, all these come from Ryan at Wolf Creek Saw Shop. <clears throat> I've tested the Wolf. Uh, I've tested the uh, New West Big Bore cylinder. I've tested the Meteor cylinder, and I've tested the Highway cylinder. What I'm going to do today is a little bit different. This highway cylinder, this meteor cylinder, I'm sorry, this meteor cylinder, we're running caper rings on it. Everything's stock. Nothing's been touched on these. Pull them off, run them as they are in the box, gasket, not set and squish, nothing. Just what anybody could expect to put on their stock chainsaw, uh, straight gasket, wear it out, whatever. What you can expect out of one of these new cylinders. Now, we've already done that. We've already got a base run. And before I took the base run, uh, we idled this for one full tank. Of uh, I'm running either 87 or 89 octane. I don't know what's in my bulk overhead tank out there. I get it on the farm, non-ethanol. Uh, and I'm running uh, red armor oil. And like I say, I let it idle for one tank. I've done probably three or a session of dyno runs. Um, I won't say that I didn't do five dyno runs on it. If I had a bad run, we're going to do three good dyno runs. So what are we doing now? Well, tomorrow I'm going to head up Dad's to start working on some of his firewood. So this saw is going to get some gas through it. Now, I won't be able to tell you how many tanks I run because you know how it is. You get done with a log and get ready to start on the next one or something, you top it off, right? Hopefully I can tell you how much fuel I put in it. I'll mix up a brand new one gallon and we'll get um you know a gallon or two through it whatever we get through it i'll let you know <clears throat> um excuse me and then we're going to dyno test it after we've done that i'm not going to ask you to sit there and i'm not going to try to video myself sawing firewood and I'm not, i wouldn't ask you guys to watch it anyway but what i want to show you you'll just have to trust me on that is uh before and after uh like i say you can see it's been running a little bit got a decent wash pattern on it everything's stock it's got a little bit of a muffler mod I did that just to make, uh, just so all the cylinders didn't wind up at the same place because maybe they just held back by a muffler, right? So I did a little bit of muffler mod early on. We do, we we know that. Uh, so I'm gonna yank this back on. It's gonna be apples and apples to what it was. This cylinder hasn't had a single firing on it since it come off the dyno last time. I'm gonna yank this back apart, put it back on there, go cut firewood for a few days, and come back and I'm gonna put her on dyno. I'll see you in a minute. Well, we had us about a week of three days of firewood cutting. Uh, I didn't get to spend as much time on the saw as I'd have hoped. I was running the skid steer more than anything, but I got right out a gallon of gas, almost a gallon of gas through it. It had less than a half a tank left. It had less than a half a tank left to fill up my 440. You say, well, why didn't you just run it through this? Well, we're up to another problem with our cheap Chinese saws, which we know we're going to have them. Uh, I was finishing up, and I, I'm not heavy-handed on a saw, but I, I had it sitting on top of some other logs, and it just pinched my bar just a little bit, and not bad. And I, my chain was still spinning, and I went to just spin it and cut out of it. And I thought, man, that handlebar went feeling loose. Well, she broke right through here. Uh, I, I've run genuine steels plenty enough to know that I didn't pull on this hard enough to break a good handlebar, but I broke it. So take that for what it's worth. Uh, not trying to make excuses, just telling you. So I didn't quite get a gallon through it, but almost got a gallon through it. Um, all except for like a half tank in my 440. Knowing I had a cheap saw, this lot would have problems. Uh, I brought along a good saw. Uh, get me out of my mind if I needed to, and I needed to. So uh, let that be a lesson to you. But uh, we went ahead and put, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it in the first part because this is a few days later, but thanks again to Ryan for this meteor cylinder. And we're up a little over a tank of gas, probably counting the first tank that's idled. 
but we're going to call it a gallon of gas just for easy math what's that 3.8 liters for you metric folks maybe um through it i didn't count tanks uh let's get her on dyno see what we gained i'm sure we gained hopefully we didn't lose ha, you never know with my luck now guys i'm going to interrupt here just a second um ask you guys a favor if you like this kind of thing of course do the normal youtube stuff but i found something that's not normal and this applies to you guys that watch on your mobile devices i think there's a thing you can do i think you got to swipe right i've not seen it in person but you can hype a channel it doesn't cost anything i think you can do it up to like three times a week i've had people say and man it makes my ego big hey you got the best youtube channel going man that is just awesome if you like it if you like what i'm doing consider hyping my channel uh or a video and i'm not sure if it just works on the video i think if you hype a video like this video if you swipe and hype that it helps my channel in whole um and who knows maybe i'm not the guy that deserves it um maybe it's charlie briscoe or madhouse or it just iron horse take take your pick um but but i will say like speaking of iron horse not knocking him love him to death um the smaller the channel is the more hype and helps them right so many hype points well if you pick a channel with one subscriber he'll get a lot more hype points anyhow it helps get bring little channels it helps youtube bring little channels to more people offer them to more people if you don't mind doing that do it do it for me do it for somebody else Ruth, after break in, run one, try to get carbs set. Well, here's what we all been waiting for. Uh, when we first put that meteor cylinder on that we let this thing and i know i'm probably getting redundant uh we let it idle for a full tank of fuel then done a few dyno runs on it uh a decent representation of the saw was 5.12 horsepower uh 3.39 foot pounds of torque now after we has broke in and we run just short of a gallon of gas through it uh we gained we went up made it up 5.26 horsepower which is uh, basically a tenth and a half, which is a pretty good gain. But we gained from 0.39 to 0.36. We gained a quarter of a foot pound in torque. We gained quite a bit of torque, and we gained uh, a noticeable amount of horsepower. Uh, so there you go, guys. Uh, I know we always wonder what breaking in rings will do on this particular cylinder, on this particular saw, and these particular rings. There's what it done. Well, that wasn't uh, wasn't too bad. I might have expected more. Might have expected less. Really didn't know what to expect on breaking into the rings. Uh, and they may break in some more yet. Uh, those are caber rings, so um, we we might revisit this after another gallon or two through it and see what we've done. But just a gallon up, just a gallon through there uh, made a pretty substantial difference. And it's something you can feel in your hands. Um, it's not like it turned on a switch, but I can I can feel the saw stronger after you know at the last than it was at the beginning. Well, till it broke the handle. <laughs> Anyhow, that gummit. Uh, you can't give me nice stuff. I tear it up. Um, I tear up junk stuff even faster. Guys, appreciate it. If I earned her, give her a hitchhiker. If not, mash your Julius Caesar. Consider subscribing. Um, hype the channel. Um, if you, if you know how, uh, really helps me out. And if you want to see me do well, if I earned it, if I didn't, don't do it guys. Appreciate it. Get under the comments banner with me. That's what I really like.